What's up, everybody? Just watched OU beat Cincinnati 20-6 to here in Cincinnati. I'm in a classroom. I'm not sure why they're doing the pressers here in a classroom. But um, let's talk quick thoughts. Dylan Gabriel, uh, still good. Looked a little human today. Threw for 322 yards in the touchdown. Um, was still very efficient. Missed on a couple throws downfield, but hit them when they mattered, including a big one late to Andrew Anthony. Um, still not sure what's going on with the running back situation. Tawi Walker looked good at times. Uh, mainly just used Tawi and, and Marcus Major. Not really sure where. Uh, the production from Gavin and Javante from last week against Tulsa was, but uh, something tells me that uh, offensive coordinator Jeff Levy is still trying to figure out what he's going to do there um, and working out all the Kings guys. But um, the, the biggest story of today is obviously the defense. I mean, um, this is the, one of the best defensive performances I've seen from OU um, in a long time. I mean, guys were flying around. Danny Stutzman's all over the place. Um, Brent Venables is on the field coaching the defense play by play. I'm convinced he was the defensive coordinator all day long. Um, I, th I think he was calling plays, uh, but this defense looks dramatically improved from last season. Um, and this is another game, just like the SMU game, that I don't think OU wins um, a year ago. So big improvements there. Obviously can, can be better at everything, including the pass rush, although uh, Stutzman did get in on a sack late, um, so that was good to see. But um, And then the other thing I just wanted to talk about briefly before – um, we hear from Brent and, and hopefully get an update on this, but um, linebacker Jaron Kanick, you know, uh, left the game with uh, what looked like a head injury, um, left um, the field on a cart, was put in an ambulance. I'm not sure if he if he left in an ambulance, but um, we'll get an update uh, from, from Coach Venables um, here in a few guys. But OU went on the road against a Big 12 team in a very tough environment here at Nippert Stadium um, and wins at 20-6. to six. So... Um, Make sure and check out OUDaily.com for all of our post-game coverage. Um, and uh, we're going to podcast after we, uh, we get done writing today. So we'll have fuller thoughts uh, later on. But thanks for watching.